Hi everyone, it's Erin of the Starters Club and welcome to week I have no idea anymore. Uh, I think it's four or five of unemployment, but everything's just been moving in crazy directions. It's a blur. I'm trying to uh, get my feet under me. It's just been crazy. This week I did hire two people, so I'm super, super excited to add to my team and, and hopefully make things a little bit easier because it's just trying to get everything ready is difficult. So it's my birthday week, uh, and look at what I got. This is a, it's a little USB soundboard, and I have a brand new microphone coming, and I'm such a dork because I'm super thrilled about this. And I'm wanting to upgrade for a while. We have this big giant soundboard that I'm completely scared of, so this is gonna be way better. It's like a vacuum cleaner, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. So anyway, let's talk about lessons learned, and I wanna cover one main topic but really break it down in two and it's about teaching and getting paid to teach what we learn and what we know and I know for a long time there would be if I go to a seminar right and learn something and come back and teach that what I learned to somebody I felt really fraudulent like well they could have gone to the same seminar and learned just what I learned or they could have read that book that I read is out on Amazon they could completely have read the same book as I'm teaching it you know, a lot of the same principles, of course, in my way and not word for word, but but you have to realize, and what I had to realize was that my job is to learn this stuff and to teach people this stuff because that's what they, we don't have all the time in the world, unfortunately, to learn everything that's out there. We focus on certain areas. My focus is on, you know, business building and making things easier from a perspective of growth and, you know, trying to grow organically. That's what I focus on. And not everybody has the time to do that. So whatever it is you are working, whatever area you're working in, remember that teaching others what you know and what you are constantly learning is just part of your job and you shouldn't feel icky to do that. The second thing is don't discount what you know. I did a webinar this week about social media, or I did it last week, and it was about Hootsuite. Like, one of the things I talked about was Hootsuite, and thinking, God, I, this feels really weird. Is, any, is, is there anybody in the world who doesn't know what Hootsuite anymore? But there wasn't, because I sent out an email after the webinar and said, hey, can you give me some feedback? Did you, can I teach you anything that you didn't learn in the webinar? Is there something I could, you know, were you expecting? And a lot of people commented, like, hey, I really loved the learning about Hootsuite. I was like, whoa, it's crazy. But we get so focused in our little worlds of what we know and what the people around us know that we forget that there's a whole other world of people who, you know, for my sake, are just stepping into business. They don't know all this stuff. Or when I talk social media, I was talking to one of my Cairo students this week about Instagram. I mean, his whole face just, I, I, he was like, what? Like I was talking Greek. So we have to remember that you know, when we get focused in an area and we spend our time learning, that A, we end up knowing a lot more than the average person out there in that specific topic, and B, don't feel bad about teaching something basic or, you know, we feel like we have to be so original and just so amazing at what we come up with content when you, somebody could hear something 20 different times, but when you say it in the way that you say it, that's when it clicks. And so just... Don't hold back of what you want to say or what you want to write or what you want to present just because you're worried somebody might not know it. So hopefully that's a lesson learned for you too. I know it's, it, I keep having to remind myself of that day in and day out. But another fantastic week. My month is almost closed out. When I say this, it will be September. Crazy. And just working on lots of good stuff. And hopefully we'll be doing some more webinars rolling out. Uh, second version of the prestigious practice at the end of the month, which I'm super stoked about. Definitely lessons learned about how I can make that better and make the launch better and all that good stuff. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was valuable to you in some sort of way. And until next week, I will teach you all about how cool it is to be unemployed. And it's Aaron of the Starters Club.